ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. One down. Aaron Judge at the plate. Second in the American League in hitting. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And he'll one. Runner on the goal. Hit hard on the ground to short. Tejada. Jump throw. Judge out on the play. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Man at second here with two away. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Fourth right now on the American League home run leaderboard. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Tejada. Throws across the diamond. Out number three. One left for the Yankees. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Base is empty with two away. Now here is King Tejada. Four for four last night. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Severino. And fouled off. Severino kicks deals. And now one and two. Luis Severino, when healthy, he is one of the top pitchers in the American League. When he's going good, he's getting ahead in the count. I love that his mechanics are very simple, very repeatable delivery. That's a hit. And that extends the inning. I'll tack one more game onto his hitting streak. Every day, this guy just keeps making his record harder and harder to reach. I still can't believe what he's doing. Yeah, neither can I. It's like he's playing on beginner mode out there. Two outs, runner at first. Here's Sean Murphy, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Two and one now, Severino, runner on the goal. And there's a foul ball. Two two. Runner goes again. In the dirt. And there's no throw. He's in there at second with a stolen base. So all filled up. Severino cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now it's Aaron the Judge up to the plate. 0 for 1. He grounded Aaron out in his first at bat. Judge. The wind of the pitch. Smash to the left side. Throw on to Olsen. Judge out on the play. Now batting. Designated hitter. Giancarlo. King Tejada. Next up for the Braves. One for one with a single so far. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade. And big time power. And a base hit, and they take the lead. Cabrera throws to second, and he's in there. As they jump ahead, a run scores. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So here's Murphy now. Struck out swinging his first time. Righty delivers. 
Next offering misses down and away. Come on. Let it fly right here. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you and you can't reach it. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Olsen, the lead runner at second. Tejada over at first with one away. Next pitch is outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Three one is on the way. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Here's a 1-1. Stops it on a slide. The throw. LeMayhew to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Gray, back to work. Up the middle. Throw on to Olsen, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice. One down. Now in for the Braves, King Tejada. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Tejeda, the home run derby champ from earlier this season, just 19 years old. And he was a third round pick. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there, and boom goes the dynamite. His latest homer in an incredible season. And the Braves have the lead now. It's 3-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Man at first with one gone. Now, Glaber Torres. He's already homered here in this one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. On the ground, two ball. The throw to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. One down, runner at first. King Tejada next up for the Braves. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Hey, keep it going. Need you right now. And it's fouled away. 
This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. The 0-1. Line drive. Dives and he can't hang on. Cabrera to third. And he's out. As a base runner right there, you're making the call yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time, he was wrong. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man. He really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Check swing. He went. It's two and two. Swing and a base hit. Tejada coming home. He scores, and they lead by two. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits.